Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sawyer, and welcome back to Last on Earth Survival. So today is a big day because we will finally finish building our minivan. The only thing that's left for us is this spark plug, and we can get this spark plug at the highway. So that's what we're gonna do. We have also finished the garage. We finished it quite a while ago. We finished everything else inside of the settlement. So as I said, the only thing that's left for us is to finish building this minivan. And I'm super excited to finish building it because I want to know how it's gonna look like. I want to see those wheels on the minivan. I want to know if this windshield is gonna be repaired. But even after we assemble this minivan, I don't think anything's gonna happen. Maybe we'll talk to Connor, maybe we'll get like some sort of a little dialogue, but I still think we'll have to wait for this act uh, two, chapter two, because check this out, when we go here, we still have this chapter two build out, and it's still not out yet. I have no idea when it's gonna come out, but hey, after we finish this minivan, then we'll be done. There's nothing else for me that there will be left to do. We'll only have to wait for that chapter two, so hey, that's what we are gonna do. And hey, welcome, welcome to all those that have just joined the stream. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Glad to, to see all of you here, and if you're watching this live stream after it's over, then head to the pinned comments down below. There are gonna be timestamps, and you can navigate to your favorite part of the live stream a bit quicker. And now, let's get enough weapons. Let's get some some katanas if we're gonna have katanas if no then no we'll just get pipes there we go guys let's take probably two three pipes let's take a weapon with us a shotgun uh another shotgun maybe that's definitely way too many weapons for the highway but whatever let's take these items guys and let's roll to the highway this might be even the last time when we do the highway again i'm keeping my fingers crossed that we'll get that uh, spark plug because you don't always get it there there's not you don't have a 100% chance to get that spark plug. I've seen some people not getting the spark plug, so I'm kind of worried that we, that we might not get it. But you know what? If we all going to keep our fingers crossed, then everything's going to be fine. So let's keep our fingers crossed and let's just roll for it. I want to finish my minivan today. Yo, Coldbud! Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, Coldbud. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. Thanks for supporting the channel, man. Thanks for everything. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let's get stack of juicy steaks and let's get that all from here. I don't have the highway, says Alex. So in order to go to the highway, you have to finish some buildings at your settlement first. You need to probably finish building the wall. And in order to start building the wall, you need to finish building the headquarters. So build those things and then you should be able to do your thing. Then you should be able to go to the highway. Uh, let's go here and there we go guys that's it <laughs> we're gonna go and finish the highway if we're not gonna get the spark plug i'll be so disappointed because that'd be such a such a trash move like the only thing that's left for us is only one spark plug and imagine we're not gonna get it right now i always kept getting at least one spark plug every time i clear that highway I always got at least one spark plug so that would be sad to not get a first spark plug when i need only one more spark plug are you gonna get the spark plug? Yes, I hopefully I'll get it. I don't know, it's not guaranteed, but hey, hopefully I'll get it. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Maybe I'm even gonna take the melee weapon. There we go, let's take that melee weapon. Let's go to the highway. Are you done with Dawn of Zombies? There will be more Dawn of Zombies, definitely. There will be more Dawn of Zombies. Uh, soon, so no worries about that. Then you'll have to change the title. Yes, indeed, if we're not gonna get the spark plug, I'll just add the question mark to the... Instead of the exclamation mark. And there we go. That'll be the title change. <laughs> I'll have to change the title if if I don't get the spark plug. But we should be able to get it. We should be able to get it. What's your favorite outfit? As I said, I don't really care about the skins in the game that much besides this backpack. Also, guys, speaking of backpacks, I don't think I even ever mentioned this. But there is another backpack that we should check out. Like this one, right? It's not as big as our current backpack. But it's somewhat, some way decent. I wish we got more big backpacks in the game, but this is at least something. And Cosmin, first, thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. Oh my god, Tarek is live again. Hope you have a good day. Hope you have a good day as well, Cosmin. Thanks for being here. Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. How many spark plugs left? Only one more spark plug. One more spark plug. That's it. Only one more spark plug. It's a pretty big backpack. Yes, I mean, that's a pretty big backpack, but still, this... Backpack that we have here is still a bit bigger. But yeah, the bigger the backpack, the better. That's all I have to say. Nothing happened it's after you complete the spark plug thing. Yeah, I believe nothing's gonna happen, but I still wanna finish it. I wanna finish it. 
And then we'll just have to wait for that chapter to... Developers have already started showing some sneak peeks. You might have already seen them. I mean, just in case if you've been living under a rock. Uh, is it this? Yes, they've shown this kind of sneak peek. They've shown these workbenches. And they've shown even more workbenches. So, lots of sneak peeks. We just have to wait until all of that stuff comes out. Something definitely will happen, I feel it. No, nah, nothing's gonna happen. Like, some people have already finished the minivan. So, nothing happens. And there's no chapter to, so... Maybe there will be, like, a short dialogue or something. Maybe nothing will even happen. Maybe there's no dialogue at all. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Whatever, let's open this thing up. And let's get the thing! Get it! Yes, we got it, ladies and gents! We actually got it! Whew. So, I don't have to change the title of the stream. Very epic. Very awesome. That's the thing that I was worried the most. I just didn't want to change the title of the stream because we can always get that spark plug next time. But I didn't want to change the thumbnail or the title. And we got it. That's it. Imagine I die right now and I lose this uh, thing. That'd be very sad. That'd be sad. Why aren't you using your own backpack? Uh, because I like to switch. Sometimes I use that backpack, sometimes we use this backpack. Uh, let's get it. Alright, let's load this taxi. And then let's bring all the loot back to the base. What's all the hype with the minivan for nothing? Oh, uh, so all the hype for the minivan for nothing. Yes, apparently, probably. I mean, it's not like anything's gonna happen because it's not out yet. Like the big update the developers were talking about, it's basically not out yet, so we just gotta wait for it. There's one more thing that I haven't looted, and it's probably on another side. Mm, let's go here. I know what's going to happen. You'll get a thanks for playing comment. Uh, Colbert 3. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat. Thanks for being here. And maybe, you know what? At least if we could get like that comment, you know, thanks for playing. That'd be awesome. Thanks for playing. You finished the game and then credits roll and the game uninstalls itself. That would be kind of sad. That would actually be very unexpected and very sad and surprising. And a short cutscene of what happens. I don't even know what kind of cutscene we could have here in the game. I hope you make a live stream of Conan Exiles. Probably, maybe, there will be a live stream of Conan Exiles. I don't know if we'll continue with it. There will be a third episode of Conan, of Ex uh, Conan Exiles. But I don't know if there will be a fourth episode. We'll see. The game becomes very, very grindy. And not a lot of people seem to be interested in it. But we'll see what we'll do after that. And the man's 100 bucks to continue, says Infinity Swift. Yes! Yes, that's exactly what I would do. If I ever become CEO of Kefir, I will say thanks for playing the game. To continue, give 100 bucks. And that's it. That's what I would do. Definitely. Yo, Colbert, thanks for everything that you've done here on the channel. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you for another super chat. It's coming in soon. There we go. It's here. Thanks, man. And you'll say thanks for nothing, Smucks. Smucks. <laughs> the bud definitely knows how to read Smucks. Thanks, Colbert. Thanks for everything. Thanks for being here. And actually, let's say thanks for nothing here because we're gonna put in the spark plug. So, ladies and gents, let's get probably nothing. Let's go, ladies and gents. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's finish it. Let's drop it. Let's finalize it. And we did it! Look at this! We got the minivan at least something, right? At least it changed the the appearance. So there is that. Wait, I want to get the look around skill and I want to see this minivan from further away and then we'll talk to the talk to Connor and then we'll talk to Connor we'll go there very soon I just want to load up this thing guys it's still loading up this look around skill I just want to see it with a look around skill and that's it and get the screenshot and then we can skedaddle and then I'll get another screenshot during the day because it's kind of evening here and kind of morning there we go guys this is what it looks like so let's go back here. Let's talk to Connor. So she's working now on the minivan. She was cutting this thing down. Now she's working on the minivan. 
All right, Connor. We fixed the car. Soon it's going to be on the go. That's it. We've done a good job. You saved my life three times. Uh, all we need to do now is wait for my friends. I'm sure they're already coming. That's it. Now they're just going to wait for their friends. Which is at least something. You know what? At least we've gotten a tiny, tiny dialogue. And Thalita Cordasso, thank you for becoming a member. Thank you, thank you for everything. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Thanks for smashing the join button. Welcome, welcome. So at least something. At least something. Let's claim the reward. And now we gotta wait for this chapter too. <sighs> I mean, I don't know, that was awesome to finish the minivan, but I want to re-enter the location. I want to see if the minivan's still gonna stay in the same spot. Probably it will be. I don't think it's gonna move anywhere else. Have you seen the new terms of serv service changes on Twitch? It's dying, says David. I don't know, I don't stream on Twitch, so I don't know much. Long time no see, Sark. How's it going? Says the leader. It's going great. Hopefully everything is going great on your side as well. Welcome, welcome. And nothing really changed with the minivan. It still stays in the same spot. All right, understandable. Have a nice day. But it's hey, still kind of cool. At least it has the wheels. And we've repaired the windshield, so that is something. But hey, let's now get back to our base and let's probably do a couple of raids. What is the next ARC video? I don't know if there will be ARC video. There will be... ARC livestream. Maybe. 70, 30 paycheck to 50, 50. Yeah, I mean, I've heard of what's going on, of what they've changed on Twitch. The, they're doing that even for bigger creators, but hey. I don't stream there, so... <laughs> what can I say? About it. I don't know. I... Don't know, peeps. It's not cool. What's happening there? But there's this. Try to talk with Connor. Wait, I've just literally spoken to Connor like a second ago. Uh, three puppies into the adult dogs. We're gonna do that. Let's get this, then the eight boxes, and Bunker Alpha second floor. All right, so let's raise the three Douglas and then let's go to the Bunker Alpha. Does the minivan get Sykes approval, says Impulse? No, it doesn't get Sykes approval. Why would it get Sykes approval? It literally does nothing right now. We've just dropped the resources into that minivan for absolutely nothing. But when it comes out, if it ever comes out, then it might be cool, but as of right now, it doesn't get tax approval as it, there's literally nothing in it. Sad minivan noises. Yes, indeed. Very sad minivan noises. Let's get this. Baxter, more like Gooper. Go back here. We got another Gooper. There, go back to the Doggo Crate. Aloha Settle, welcome to the stream. It was worth it, says Potato. Was it worth it? It <laughs> was the guys really worth it to finish building the minivan. I mean, I'm happy to... It was fun to assemble that minivan, I'm not gonna lie. It was interesting to... To do something throughout the past, like, a month, probably. Because that's when this update was added to the game, I don't remember. Also, get one coin, says Martin. Okay, let's get that one coin. Let's get that one coin. Oops, wrong button. Let's go back here and let's get that one coin. There we go, guys. This pooch is gonna dig. Maybe we've already gotten the coin. Maybe I was too late. I was probably too late. The pooch has already given us the coin. I just didn't see it. Yikes. Mistakes were made because there we go. There was the coin, but we've probably already gotten it. You don't even have to look at the pooch. It just appears. Oh, put the food! 
Thank you. We got to put the food. That's that's for sure. We got to get the food. That's why we didn't get the coin. Yes. All right, let's give them a stack of turkey. Why not? We got a stack of turkey. We can give a stack of turkey. It's like gold rush is here, says Adamo. Yes! Finally, my favorite event is in the game, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, Adamo, for letting us know. The gold rush event is finally here. We can spend 1,200 gold, and you'll be able to get these absolutely phenomenal resources, like five of uh, Marks of Excellence points, a machete, or... And M16, this is super insane. I'm so excited about this Gold Rush event. One of the best events in the game. Super, super, super excited about it. Thanks, Adamo. Thanks for letting us know about the Gold Rush event. Very cool. Super rare items, says Martin. Yes, indeed. The rarest items in the game. Look at this. Now we're going to get the coin. Look at this. The doggo's digging. And uh, boom. We've gotten the coin, ladies and gents. Thanks, doggo. Oops, wrong button. Thanks, doggo. Gooper, gooper, gooper. Let's... Wait, why did they raise it? I have no idea. Did that... I didn't mean to do it. I just wanted to get back this bloodhound dog and that's it. Good boy. Yes, indeed. Good boy, indeed. Your stream blurred. Try to change the quality from 144p to at least, I don't know, 360p. It'll look better. I'm not even talking about 1080p or higher. Oh my god, Zach, thank you for tips and tricks. You're welcome. That's why I'm here. To... To let you know about all of those secret tips and tricks. On how to change the quality on the live stream. Alright, let's get these broken shotguns, a Glock, and then... What else can we take with us? Maybe those revolvers? Are we gonna use revolvers in Bunker Alpha second floor? Yeah. Did you see the Big Hunt event? Yes, I've seen the Big Hunt event. I still haven't done it. We might maybe participate there just for a little bit. But I don't think I'll be staying there for too long. But yeah, I might participate there for a second. To see how it works. Alright guys, that's it. Let's, let's roll. We got the... Okay, except this armor is broken. But we have tickets. So I can probably open up crates and get loot that way. There we go. Let's just go back to the Bunker Alpha. And I might need the password if Bunker Alpha is not reset. So once again, guys, I'm asking for your support. What's the password to Bunker Alpha? Bro, any advice on how to get guns as a beginner? Link is down in the description uh, where you can check out my free-to-play playlist and it answers all your frequently asked, uh, asked questions. And I see that you're saying, Bunt Kralf is too hard without guns. No, it's not. After second floor. No, it's not. Uh, as I said, check out the free-to-play playlist and you'll learn how to clear the second and third floor. You don't have to be using guns in Bunt Kralf. If you're using guns in Bunt Kralf to get rich, you're doing it incorrectly. And even if you use guns, you can use them only on Frenzy Giants and you can still profit. But if you're using guns on Toxic Spitters and other things, it's not going to work. And if you're going to clear Bunker Alpha, which... Uh, like, I'm assuming the only reason why you can't clear it is probably because you're going there empty-handed. So if you're not bringing with you enough carrots, if you're not bringing with you enough crowbars or other melee weapons, there's nothing you can do to clear that Bunker Alpha. So you need to have enough healing items like carrot stews or in, yeah, and bunch of crowbars. You need to have both of those things. If you don't have healing items, you won't be able to clear it. If you don't have melee weapons, you'll have to use bunch of and bunch of healing items and you won't be able to clear it. So you need melee weapons and healing items and you can get that stuff from green zones. There we go. Hopefully that helps out. And thank you guys for the passwords. Welcome, welcome to all those that have just joined the stream. 55408, 55408. Let's confirm that. How's the Friday going? It's going all right. Hopefully the Friday's going all right for you as well. Is it actually Friday? No, it's Thursday. It's probably mini Friday. So guys, hopefully this mini Friday is going great for you. There we go. Let's get those tickets and let's hope inside. What's the best way to get melee weapons? Craft them with iron and leather to craft crowbars. You just go and you just farm green zone like non-stop. You wake up in the morning and you just farm green zone. But Cyric, that's boring. Well, I didn't create the rules. And it's a survival game. You gotta grind. 
say you grind green zones. You get iron, you get leather, you craft crowbars. At the same time, you'll be able to get enough carrot seeds, uh, plant fibers, and you'll craft bandages. Or, as I said, just check out the free-to-play playlist and follow the journey on how I grinded there from level 1 to, like, level 80 or something. On how I cleared Bunker Alpha, etc., etc. You can also clear the police department. And I think a really underappreciated thing is... Is the brown crate in the police department because with those brown crates you can get a bunch of melee weapons and even though they're kind of bad like just golf clubs or maybe sometimes baseball bats but they're still all right they're really cheap to get plus you can get healing items from those brown crates and they're really easy to get so brown crates for the win that's all i have to say that's another best tip and trick for the beginners that i have to say after starting free-to-play playlists, after starting this game from zero, like, many, many times... Green zones and brown crates are your friend. Wait, have I checked this crate? Yes, indeed I have, but we have no C4s there. Alright, let's get back to the second floor. Arc livestream soon, then. I don't know, maybe there will be arc livestream. Golf clubs and baseball bats are okay for wall tricking. Yeah, they're definitely okay for wall tricking. That's why I'm suggesting to get those brown crates. They're really, really good. Like, again, it, you can always just farm that iron and craft, like, whatever melee weapons on your own. But it's nice to get almost free loot. Like, those brown crates are almost free. You just go there, you use, like, whatever melee weapon that you got there, and you'll profit. Like, you'll get insane profit from... Those crates. Also, floppy... Also, airdrops, not floppy crates. Airdrops are really great as well. As you get there, a free melee weapon. After you assemble your chopper, it'll get easier as you'll be able to get more melee weapons, more guns from... Wait, why am I using melee weapons here? Again, this is not the way you're supposed to be clearing Bunker Alpha. Link is in the description on how to clear Bunker Alpha, the free-to-play playlist where I explain everything. This is not the efficient way to clear it. We're just clearing it just so that we could do more raids. Because we've cleared it efficiently many, many times and we're not here to clear it efficiently. Or profit off of it. Where's the background music name? Link is in the description. Everything's in the description. What is the best location for steel bars? The answer is in the description. <laughs> it's so cool! Every question can be answered. Uh, everything's in the description. This is epic. And I don't have to feel bad about it, because everything is in the description. I spent time, I've written everything in detail. So hey, there's that. In the beginning, I've written the shorter version of the... of the frequently asked questions about Last Day on Earth. But then I was like, you know what, what's the point of writing it the shorter way? As people will ask questions anyway, so I'll just... I just went hand with it. So everything's explained there. That was a big brain idea, putting frequently asked questions in the description. Great job. Yeah, I wanted to do that for a really long time, but just... Somebody during, like, few live streams ago just mentioned that again. And I'm like, wait, why well, I haven't done that? So yeah, let's do it. But yeah, I wanted to put those frequently asked questions for, like, few years now. Which again, I'm still gonna be answering those questions because that's what we do. I'll still be answering those basic questions. But, yeah. Some more complicated questions, like how to get a true friend dog. Or where to get steel. Like, those questions are explained in detail. This way I don't have to use any brain power to answer those questions. I don't have to remember all the recipes, etc, etc. Everything's in the description. But the basic questions on how to get guns is just clear Bunker Alpha and check out the free-to-play playlist. I'll still be saying that. Uh, let's get this. Which one crate open worthy in the police station? Whatever crates you can get. It's not like you can get purple card. If you're asking which one is worth it, most likely you cannot get the purple card. So open the one that you can. 
So you're saying you have no brain power, says Impulse. Yes, I don't have brain power. Zero brain power. It's not like about the brain power. It's just that sometimes we'll ask... Uh, some someone will ask like how to get a true friend dog and I know how to get that true friend dog I know that there are buffs, but it takes just time to explain it Then I'll have to spend like two minutes Explaining all the buffs all the fish buffs and all the little details Even though it's still probably not gonna help you to get that true friend dog And I don't remember all the fish buff names But now all that stuff is in the description Do we need to destroy that turret? No, we just need to do the second floor, so we don't even have to do that. Why are you live streaming a lot? Why can't you make videos, says Neptor. There's literally a video every other day. Oh my god, I had no idea! I don't know how to use this platform, but thanks for letting me know. You're welcome. You're welcome. Just literally click on the channel, then go to videos, and you'll see that there is a video every other day. Alright, let's get that. And let's get that all. I'm at stain still on last day on Earth, waiting for all the zones to reset. No Bravo, of course. We should do Bravo. For the challenge. Maybe I should hit the swamp today. Need more ash logs. Actually, speaking of the swamp location, I should go to the swamp location as well. What's the best gun in Bunker Bravo overall? I mean, scars, if you have scars. If you don't have, if you don't have scars, then M16s and AKs are gonna do the trick. And again, just because I said scar doesn't mean you have to have scars to clear that bunker. Bravo. Does the person ask the best gun for bunker? Bravo. So I'm saying it, but it's super rare, so you're not gonna have enough scars to clear it. So AKs and M16s are gonna be decent enough. Uh, five iron bars. All right. All right, boomer. All right, let's open this thing. How many weapons should a level 130 player have? I don't know. That's a silly question. Depends on how often you play the game and... Yeah, how often you play the game and if you're saving your weapons or not. It can be zero, it can be hundreds. So yeah, there's just a thing. Camera frozen. Dude, I thought you are bamboozling me, but the camera actually got frozen. Stupid. There we go. It should be working right now. There we go. That's much better. Thanks, guys. Again, the camera gets stuck. I have no idea why it gets stuck. It's annoying. It's very annoying. But it's fixed. It's no longer fro frozen. A son says the fish buff is not worth it. What fish buff? To get the true friend dog? You have no idea if it's worth it or not worth it. I mean, if you're trying to get a true friend dog and it's been years, then you should craft that fish buff. There's no reason to not craft it, as it's basically free. Almost free. Cost a grenade. Alright, I'm just showing you that you can wall trick these frenzy giants here. And there we go. Oops. I have no idea why I keep getting hit in the face. But hey, that does happen. These lockers are not even straight. Look at this. These four lockers, right? They are straight, but the four lockers that I'm looting, they're, they're not even straight. Look at this last locker. What is this?
All right, we got three more Frenzy Giants left, and then we can leave this place. It's time to throw up your face cam to the garbage. What? It's time to throw your face cam to garbage. It's not a face cam, it's a camera. And it's not the camera's problem. Are you going to make the video of playing the worst survival game is no. I don't really do that kind of content on the channel where we where I play a game and I say like oh this is the worst game that I've ever played. Like the most terrible game that I've played. Because somebody worked on that game. And I wouldn't want to call a game trash. Does that make any sense? A developer worked on a certain game. I'm not gonna play a game here on the channel. I'm not gonna play their game to benefit myself and to tell that, hey, this game is trash, haha. <laughs> Garbage game. Seems kind of a terrible thing to do, so I, yeah, I'm not gonna do that kind of content. There were many times where I would, like, get some sort of a survival game I'd played and it's just, like, garbage. It's just, like, absolute trash. So I just would have to stop recording it and I'd find something else. I'd find another game. Because even if it's trash, like, we could make content out of it. Like, oh, this game is so bad. Ha ha ha, look at that. But it's just, it's, we don't have to really do that. I don't really do that kind of stuff here. So I usually don't play garbage games. Like, I don't upload the videos with garbage games. In my opinion, some of you might think that, hey, some games are garbage and whatnot, it's fine. But sometimes if I'm gonna play a game and I think it's bad, and there's nothing good to say about it, then I'm not gonna play it. I won't make a video on it, that's what I'm trying to say. Next Conan Exiles video when soon-ish. I don't know the answer to that, but soon-ish. Alright, so we are done clearing the second floor. Let's bring some loot back to the base. Alright, let's get all of that stuff. And let's just bring it. Looks like, have you finished building the minivan? Yes. The minivan is ready. The minivan is done. And I'm almost done as well. Let's get that. All right, we have some weapons, correct? Definitely. Would you consider playing games like Minecraft and Vi or Valorant? I've played Minecraft already. Valorant probably won't play it here. But I've already played Minecraft. Sirekish, uploadish, Conan Exilish video soonish, says BJ. I mean, I already have the third video of Conan Exiles. I just don't know when it's gonna come out. Because tomorrow, well, I have a decision to make. I have three videos to post tomorrow. Either the infected episode one, either Miss Survival or Conan Exiles. And I haven't decided yet, and I'll probably decide in the last second. So maybe tomorrow there will be another Conan Exiles video, but I kind of doubt it. Probably, most likely, it'll be either Miss Survival or... Or, or the Infected. I'll have to think about it. Probably Miss Survival. And after Miss Survival, there might be the Infected. And only then there will be Conan Exiles video. Which I think that'll be the order. I'm like 90% certain of that order. All right, let's drop the weapons. Minivan, please. We've already finished the minivan, guys. There's nothing to please. No need to beg me. We have already finished the minivan. All right, let's talk to the raiders and let's go for the first raid of the day. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, the airdrops. Can we go for the airdrop right now? 
Like, maybe there is an airdrop, so we can do at least one airdrop. I don't know. Put a poll for which video you should post. I'll post all of those three videos regardless, so the poll won't matter. Do I have a thing? Nope. Nope, we don't have that thing. But guys, we can go and get that, perhaps, sturgeon if it still works. If I can even craft it, but I don't think I got carp. So I won't be able to even craft that fish buff. I just wanted to randomly get a sturgeon, but I got zero carp here. And I'm pretty certain I got... You need carp to craft the fish buff. Yeah, we need carp here and we need... To fish out a rare fish. Okay, we just need carrots and uh, mushrooms. Carrots, mushrooms, and a catfish. Carrots, mushrooms, and catfish. Carrots, mushrooms, and a catfish. I probably don't... Oh, no, I do have shrooms. New sneak peek, says Martin. Wait, have developers posted a new sneak peek? Or you're just talking about some old sneak peek that we've already spoken about? Wait, let's quickly go on Discord. Let's see if there is a new sneak peek. Um, yes-ish, there might be. Yes, guys, we got new workbench. We got new stuff. Oh my God, Sonic, I can't wait to see it. Show me, show me. All right, all right, boomers. I will definitely show you that. All right. Uh, we got it. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for new sneak peeks? They're finally here. I'm just gathering all the intel and I'm gonna show it here on the live stream. We did it. We did it. Sneak peek V3. I don't even know if it's V3. It's probably V10. Doesn't matter. Um... Just one second, ladies and gentlemen. You'll see the sneak peek. Your mind will be blown. This. Um, this. And, uh... This. There we go, we did it. We did it. The only thing that's left is to add those sneak peeks now. Oh my goodness. It'll take guys a few more seconds. All right, we got the text. Right now, the sneak peeks themselves Un momento, por favor. There are too many, too many pictures. If there was only one picture, I could just do one screenshot and that's it. There are like three pictures. They don't fit in the screenshot. There we go, guys. You can already see this thing. Right, I mean, let's put it here. And there are even more pictures. You might be like, oh my god, Sarek, you're lying. No, I'm not. No, I'm not lying, ladies and gents. We have another picture, which is boom. And we have even one more sneak peek. You might be like, oh my god, it's like how many more sneak peeks do we have? A lot of sneak peeks. That's all I have to say, ladies and gents. We got a lot of sneak peeks. And let's add one more. Random four. There we go. Boom. It's basically kind of like the same thing, right? Except... There we go, ladies and gents. We did it. We did it. Those are the sneak peeks that have added the game. Idea, sketch, model, implementation in the game. How long do you think this path can take? That's what developers said. But what is it going to do? I don't have a slightest clue. It's like bricks. 
right? Cement, perhaps? Can you make cement out of stones? Like, you would crush bricks? To do what, though? How does it work? I have no idea. I don't have a slightest clue how this thing would work, but there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the sneak peek. To collect trash, pressing machine. I mean, pressing machine to press what kind of? To press stones? Like, that, that makes no sense. Looks like r large stone bricks. I mean, we don't even know how large the stone bricks... ...are right now. Like, how large is the current stone brick that we got? We don't know the size of it. So, I don't know, make sand? I don't- I don't know what that would be, but that's a new workbench, definitely. And we've already seen so many new workbenches. There was, like, this workbench, right? These workbenches. And then we are getting this workbench now, so lots of cool things are coming. And I am excited, and I don't know why I got these resources from and what I was getting ready for. It's to make stone bricks from sand? That sounds... ...unreasonable. So I don't think that's gonna be the case. So yeah, I don't know, we'll need to wait and see what that thing would do. Redesigning workbenches. I don't think they're redesigning them. I think we're getting new workbenches in the settlement. But what they'll do, I don't know. If they will just redesign those workbenches, that'll be sad. Google it. Google what? Like, what am I gonna type in the Google? Like, big stone machine with bricks. Like, what am I gonna Google? We got an air filter. This. Uh, the, the caps. So there we go, we've just sorted out our inventory. And now let's go for the raid number uno of the day. All right, let's do this, let's do this. And let's go ladies and gents now, let's get enough hatchets, let's get level one hatchets, level two hatchets, and let's get ready. There we go, we got these two Glocks. They fit perfectly in the chest there. In our inventory, I mean. I'll eat food before we leave. I think we need bigger resources to upgrade our new base. Bigger resources equal, equals bigger workstation. You mean like bigger stone bricks? I don't know if we'll need bigger stone bricks. I don't know if this machine is about the stone bricks. I honestly don't know if it's about the stone bricks. It looks like... I don't even know what it looks like. Like you put something inside and on the down it looks like it makes maybe those big stone bricks. And it's pressing them. There's like a pressing machine or something, but how? Why? I don't understand. None of that. Maybe you do make something from sand. I don't know, I honestly have no idea. Looks like sand behind it. Yes, indeed, it looks like sand behind it. But there's no way you can crush sand and make a make a stone brick. <laughs> Level six walls. The workstation in our current base is for residential use, and these are more com commercial uses. Says Aloha. Yes, indeed. Probably that's what's up. We are upgrading our. Our workbenches. From residential to commercial use. So I guess today's sneak peek workbench is going 
to on our main base. Looks like there is a level to floor. Well, it looks like it goes on level to floor, but again, the, the developers might have just placed it here. It might go on whatever other floor. But if they added it here, does that mean it'll go in our base? Because we don't have stone walls. I mean, level to walls in the settlement. Guys, so this goes in our main base, which is kind of weird. If I may say so myself, like, why would we get a new workbench in our base? Like, why? It's kind of weird. Honestly, but hey, it's interesting. It is weird. I don't know. Whatever. Let's get ready for the raid. You don't want it, but you need it. I'm not saying that I need it or I want it. I'm just saying that they've added the settlement. I think it would be cooler if we can place those workbenches in the settlement and make the settlement more useful because I think our base is already plenty useful. Because why would you work on the on the headquarters? Why would you work on the zombie truck, on the garage, etc., etc., when nothing is useful there? So adding new workbenches there maybe would be used, would make those things useful. I don't know. Like you unlock the workbench after you play, after you assemble the headquarters. I don't know. Maybe I, I have no idea. We'll just have to wait and see. So many questions again. Maybe they've just shown that workbench that we can place it on level two floor, but in real it'll go to the settlement. But I probably think it'll be in our main base then. Maybe some other workbenches will be in our main base as well. In any case, I'm excited for all of those workbenches. Like how many of those we've seen? Six. Let's count them. Wait, before we go to the raid, like, I want to raid, but let's count the workbenches. We got these two workbenches. Two, three, four, and uh, five. We already have seen five new workbenches that are coming to the game, guys. Five new workbenches. That's a lot of workbenches. Are they all going to come? I have no idea, hopefully. Will they all be useful? I have no idea. Will they all go to the settlement? Probably not. I, I don't know, I'm excited. New workbenches mean more grinding for resources, maybe. Which would kind of suck. Like, I definitely think that... Like, again, if they keep adding... Which, again, I want new resources. I want new workbenches in the game. I want new things. That's a fact. But there is a thing to consider as well. If they're going to add new workbenches... That means it'll take you longer to grind in the game. But the same thing happens with other mobile games, right? Like, let's say Clash Royale. They'll add new cards, but they add more ways to obtain those cards. In any case, what I'm trying to say here, hopefully, when we add... Hopefully, we're getting new workbenches and more resources. But hopefully, that doesn't mean we'll have to grind even more in the game. Hopefully, we'll be able to get other resources quicker, maybe. Or maybe it'll make the game easier. Like, we'll get maybe some workbenches that'll make... Obtaining old resources easier, but at the same time, we'll get new workbenches with new loot. I think then it will be balanced. Does that make sense? Yes, I, you're a genius. I am. Thank you very much. Last on Earth uh, raid player 9553. Let's go. Let's check it out. Let's see what this raid is all about. Is it easy? There we go. I know how we can enter this base. Let's just go there. So yeah, my geniusness sometimes surprises me. Surprises me. My genius is sometimes frightening. This game is all about grinding. Yes, I agree. This game is all about grinding. I definitely agree. And for... For if you've been playing this game for a few years, like, whatever new content they add, it won't really matter as... You have nothing to do in the game anyways. Like, no matter whatever they add in the game, like, I don't care because I've already finished everything in this game. But... To new players, it might be problematic. Because you'll need to grind for your chopper, your ATV, your your level 4 walls, your boat, your food, your guns. And on top of that, you'll need to work on your settlement now. Which is like a lot of things to grind for, I guess. Which again, I don't mind. And I don't care, but I'm trying to just think about the new player. So I wouldn't mind if some new workbenches would let us get some new loot easier and... 
at the same time we could get new resources at all. I don't know. In any case, let's just wait for it and let's see what that update's gonna release. So let's open up a few chests. And we haven't even completed the helicopter. Yes, indeed, we don't even have the helicopter yet. Which again, this game doesn't really have a lot of. I mean, it does have a lot of grinding. Whatever, I take that back. There is quite a bit of grinding here. Uh, nothing here. I have picked up that piece of grass. I don't want it. Somebody left the biggest brain comment in the chat and I have to read it out loud, guys, because I think I never thought about it. So someone says, guys, tell him that it probably for making new materials. Thank you. Thank you. Like, seriously, we've been talking about those workbenches now since the beginning of the live stream and I never thought that those new workbenches might be giving us new material. Like, seriously. We, we, I never thought about it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Not even a single person watching this live stream thought of that. Thank you for letting us know. I'm glad that we have lots of big brains in the chat there. Thank you. Who would have thought that those new workbenches might be giving us new material? How I would think of that. Like seriously, n no one thought of that. I can't believe this. Not a single person thought of that in the chat. That is crazy. That is actually crazy. All right, let's get some broken guns. Let's bring them back to the base. To be honest, this game is easier for new players, so Sanjay. Well, again, depends on what do you mean new players. The new players now, new players from a year ago or comparing to players like from five years ago. When we started the game, like five years ago or something, there was no ATVs, there were no bows, there was just the chopper in that city. We're just getting guns from Bunker Alpha and crafting the chopper and there was nothing really to do. Now there are more ways to obtain resources, I guess, but at the same time, more things to do. And again, it's kind of a, a an interesting question, like... What is hard? Like a hard game, what do we mean hard game? Like obtaining weapons, obtaining resources, crafting your ATV? I don't know, but I would agree probably. Like in general, I would say maybe it, the game is a bit easier if you start right now, especially with those seasons. With all the materials we get from the season pass. Yes, except... I mean, current season pass was kind of trash, even for free-to-play players, like even for the full paid pass. The loot isn't really that great. But still, it is easier now. So, guys, that's the loot that we've gotten. Does this base get Psyx approval? I mean, let's give it the Psyx approval, but it barely gets the Psyx approval. I miss old last on Earth, says Mustafa. It's literally the same. Nothing has changed. Mustafa's like, what? I mean, you still have the same Bunker Alpha. There's nothing else to do. They've added new things, but you don't have to grind for them because they're useless. So you just keep clearing Bunker Alpha. And old last day on Earth was all about Bunker Alpha. And same thing with new last day on Earth. So it's all the same. Let's drop the loot and let's check the backpack thing. Somebody said that the, the thing that's worth in the season pass is the new outfit, but it's on level 60. I don't even know how this outfit looks like. And as I said, I'm not really the biggest. I don't really care about outfits. Again, this outfit is kind of all right, I guess, but we're probably not going to wear it either. I just want to get the backpack. This backpack. Is it big enough? Look at this tiny backpack. Look at a small backpack. But. It's not even comparable to our awesome, spacious, and luxurious backpack. Look at that. Look at this beast. So yeah, we're still gonna have this backpack then.
All right, let's drop the here, this there, the coupons. Let's drop the coupons there. Uh, remember our deal, blah, blah. All right, so let's pay them. Let's give them an electronic circuit. Fridge backpack for the win. Yes, indeed, the fridge backpack for the win. Smash like, guys. Smash subscribe if you're enjoying this fridge backpack. Because I do think this backpack is awesome. I wish they increased the storage on the backpack. It would be cool if we had more space in the backpack. That's a fact. All right, let's accept that. We might be getting new walls if there's the new material. Uh, well, that sounds just stupid. We're not getting new walls. I'd like to say I give Cyrix guarantee, but we never know. But I doubt that we're getting new walls. All right, we need to raise three dogs, make three deals with a dealer, and clear the second floor, which... We've kind of done already, but we might do it in hard mode now. Maybe that's what we are gonna do. All right, so let's talk to the... Wait, let's not talk to the doggers, but let's raise them. We got one gooper. Another gooper, and we got another gooper. There we go, we've just raised them. Now let's breed them. Rocco. For a second, I forgot how we called them. Have you finished all weapon upgrades apart from Machete? Uh, Frank TL, thanks for the super chat. Thanks for being here. Welcome to the stream. And have I finished all the weapon upgrades? No, I haven't assembled all the weapon mods. Like, I have all the weapon mods besides the Machete Blade mod. But I haven't assembled all the mods because there are lots of mods that are useless. Like, some mods just don't make sense to assemble. And I have never assembled them. But I have all the mods. Does that make any sense? Hopefully that answers your question, Frank. Thanks for being here. There we go. We got even more doggies. Epic. Um... Yeah, like, for example, there are some mods that are useless. Wait, let's... Speaking of mods, let's say, like, Glock mods, right? Like, for example, this one, right? I don't even have this one assembled. Like, here we go, guys. I don't even have this mod assembled because it's kind of useless. So what's the point to assemble this mod? I'm never going to use it. So why would I waste resources on it? Like, we could do it for the memes. But, yeah, I just haven't assembled all of the mods. Uh, let's drop some nails, a little bit of gasolinium, and let's do one deal with a dealer. Where's the dealer? There we go, let's call him. What do we need? Just one expensive watch. Easy. Easy. So let's get that one expensive watch. Watch, watch, watch. Expensive watch. Um, okay, we got a lot of them. For one Rolex. One fake Rolex and I'll get a box with a weapon inside of it. Can anyone tell me where to get cogwheels and where to find them easily? It's in Bunker Alpha. They're, they can be found in Bunker Alpha, but I can also go LDOE cog location, right? And let's go here and what will last day on Earth wiki say? Uh, obtaining in Junkyard, Bunker Alpha, Survivor, Yellow Crates, Bunker Bravo Cargo Loot Boxes, Frosty backwards possible only in the ruined tank container if it spawns, recycling the ATV transmission. And as loot by defeating Blight Mark 7 at the port laboratory. So there you go, those are the places where you can get it. 
where you can get those cog wheels. I still don't have the Glock silencer after five years. My Glock still sounds like a peasant Glock, says the AWOL. Yikes. Hopefully you're going to get your Glock soon. The silencer. And let's get it. Let's get it. And yeah, guys, just as always, let's play a game. You guess something and you win nothing. Guess what we're going to get inside of this box and win nothing. Guess and win nothing. That's the game. There we go. Cog's info, please. I've just literally given the information on it. All right. Some people have already started guessing it. Let's go. I'm going to guess myself. Just before we open it, I'll guess. Um, let's hop probably... You know what? Let's give it a few more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Let's open it up. I'm going to say that it's a pipe and we've gotten a saw blade maze. Let's type saw blade maze. There are only two people that have guessed it. It's Siapra and White Devil. Very nice. Congrats. To those that I have that have won absolutely nothing, congrats for guessing and getting nothing. Very, very epic. And to those that couldn't guess it, good luck next time. It's time for us to go for another raid now. Raid number two. Raid number dos. Mm, thinking, thinking, the second floor. All right, so let's go, guys, to the second floor, probably. We're gonna activate the hard mode. Bunker, I'll quickly speed run it with guns. We might have some epic weapons here. We got mini guns. We could use mini guns on that stuff. Or we could use a few AKs. Let's get a few AKs, M16s, a spread shot here and there. And that should be enough for the hard mode second floor. People typing it after Psych announced it be like, maybe I will also win such shadow offer. Yes, indeed. Maybe one day they will win. <laughs> maybe. Nah, those people think they're just funny, which is totally fine. Just totally fine. All right, guys, there we go. We've crafted enough weapons. Wait, we have gotten another blueprint for our Glock. And I still haven't assembled it yet. Where is it? This one, right? Oh, so this mod is even worse. Who on earth would ever use this power shot? <laughs> so power shot is terrible. This leg shot is great. Leg shot has more crit chance, which crit chance is good. So yeah, this power shot is terrible. Unless you don't have the, the the leg shot, so then you can use the power shot. But power shot is bad, big bad, and we don't use the big bad mods. Welcome to all those that have just joined the stream. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Glad to see all of you here. Hello, hello. Hopefully you're having a great mini Friday. Mm, where I'm going, I kind of forgot. Bunker Alpha, yes, indeed. That's where we got to go. Depending on where you use the mod, says Sanjay. All right. All right. Canceling someone's attack there and whatever. Eh, it's probably not worth the hustle for me. But hey, by no means, it's not a bad mod. But still, I'm the leg shot gang here.
No more pizza day, sad piano music, says BJ. Well, after I moved here to a different place, there are no great pizzas. There are some great pizzas, but they're, they're not really bang for the buck pizzas. Uh, wait, let's start the hard mode bunker. You can power shot the exploder and bunker. Bravo, very epic. I'd rather not power shot the exploder and bunker. Bravo. But yeah, I'm not saying that power shot is a bad mod. It's all right mod, but it's nothing extraordinary. It is what it is. All right, let's go here and let's quickly blast to the second floor. No stops. Not a second to breathe. Not a second to spare. We'll just bust through this bunker alpha. Do you like Dead by Daylight? I don't think I've ever really played it. Maybe made a video on it once or twice. And before we say it, yes, I think it's one of the best games ever created. Everyone should be playing it. But sadly, I won't be able to play it here on the channel. There we go. Now I'm safe. My job's done. All right, Lamborghini French Giants activated, but we were able to get it. We got him. Change your character theme. What do you mean character theme? I know what he means with character theme, but I, I just like to mess around with people, all right? He probably means the character skin. But hey, I'm still gonna say, what is the character, character theme? I have no idea what that is. What is this? Guys, I can't believe the Mr. Fox a lot just said, uh, your backpack looks like trash. Hey, Fox. It is a horrible thing to say. This backpack is the best. This backpack is amazing. That's all I have to say. Ban him, says Armando, maybe. I'm thinking. Have you unlocked the van, Psych? Yes, guys, I've unlocked the van. And you won't believe what happened. Like, seriously. I have finished the van, guys, and you won't believe what happened. Nothing happened. Absolutely nothing happened. We finished the van. The Connor, uh, Connor said that we gotta wait for his friends, and that's it. And then helicopter came out of nowhere. We flew to Bunker Charlie. We fought the most insane bosses ever. I got thousands of guns, thousands of grenade launchers. A new base, multiplayer, We I fought with uh, in a clan war. And now I'm back here clearing Bunker Alpha. But hey. I do be and then I woke up. And now I'm in Bunker Alpha. This <laughs> seems legit, says Northern Zombie. Yes, indeed. Why would I be making these things up, guys? I've never lied in my entire life. Never lied even once. Um, okay, I'll use that spreadsheet on all these schmucks. There you go, come to Papa. Yeah. 
It's like you forgot the part where you unlocked the kefir letter of commendation for being pog. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. I don't remember any of that. What on earth is that supposed to mean? Don't have a slightest clue. And uh, DA, thanks for being a member for three months. Thanks, DA. Thanks for your support on the channel. Welcome to the stream once again. Thanks for smashing that join button. But the way, nice t-shirt, Sykes, says DA. Thank you, DA. Very epic. Very cool. Thank you for... For saying that. Really cool. My t-shirt is very humbled right now. Thank you very much. Thank you. I finished the garage yesterday. I need... Just need, I think, three more spark plugs for the vents, says Ladybug. Very nice, and good luck with your spark plugs. Good luck with the spark plugs. Was the hardest boss you've ever fought? Probably the boss in the laboratory, the, the whatever his name is. The popsicle, right? The icicle dude. In hard mode. That's probably the hardest boss because you can't really beat him without the certain buffs. And after you get those buffs, he's kind of easy-ish. I don't know. All right, we finished this, dude. My garage is not finalizing. Please tell me how to finalize. Contact support. Go to settings, and in the settings, there will be the support thing. Contact support. It's like, do you think we'll have to build a base at the settlement, or it'll be just another location for events? I don't even have a slightest clue. I don't know what I would do if I was the developer. Again, the settlement should probably give something. The settlement should be useful, so... Yeah, but... I, I don't honestly even know. If I was the developer, right? I wouldn't probably... Let us build... The same walls as we have in the base already. So that would be kind of silly. Why do the same thing again? Like, hey, there's the second base. You can build again. Build same level three walls. Like, maybe that would be cool. But at the same time, kind of why? But maybe again, it all depends the, about the developer's plan. What they're planning to do with that settlement. Like, I, I don't have a slightest clue. Like, what are we going to do with that settlement? I think the settlement is going to be not more about us. It's going to be more about the characters that live in that settlement. Like that Connor and his friends. I think it's going to be all about them. Because if we wanted a helicopter, we could just probably build it at our own base. If we wanted anything, we would probably build that stuff at our own base. But it's probably going to be about Connor and other things. So if I had to guess, probably it's going to be a place for events. Like we'll still have to build things there. I just don't think we'll have to build it in the same way as we have to build our current base. I don't think we'll have to build their storage. I don't think we'll have to build level 3 or level 4 walls. I don't think that place can be raided anytime soon. I don't think we'll be able to store loot in that place. But I think we'll have to build like workbenches, like those stations. We've crafted like the headquarters, we've crafted the wall. So I think we'll have to build those kind of things. But I don't think we'll have to build the floor or the chests there. Does that make any sense? But again, that's just my speculation. I have no idea what's going to be there. In any case, whatever they add there, it's going to be better than nothing, I guess. But I just don't think that we'll have to rebuild our base there again. Let's open this thing up. I came back to the game recently, so what happened to the Berry Tea Factory? What do you mean about the Berry Tea Factory? It never existed in the game, I guess. I assume. I think the settlement might be a way to get more workbenches to speed up 
process since right now we are limited to two of most workbenches as Dark Angel. I agree. That might be the case. I do believe that we might get some better, more efficient workbenches in the settlement. Maybe. I also think that we might get some new resources there as well. And those new resources will be maybe used to upgrade our settlement. But at the same time, again, like if we're going to get new resources to upgrade the settlement, that settlement has to bring something useful. Like if that settlement, let's say you get the minivan, right? Th this is what I'm talking about. There we go. We are done with the second floor. So we're just going to get back to the base and we'll do another raid. But this is what I'm talking about. You assemble the minivan, right? The minivan, let's say, drives you to... Like, let, let's, let's just imagine you go to the hospital, right? Abandoned hospital. You go to that abandoned hospital. Actually, in the abandoned hospital, you should be getting medkits, so then it would be useful. All right, so that would be the good case scenario, right? You get the minivan and you go to the abandoned hospital to get bandages or medkits. That would be a cool implementation of that minivan. But if that minivan unlocks another place where you just get, let's say, I don't even know, like level two bricks. And with those level two bricks, you can build a better wall in the settlement. Like, it's kind of pointless, because why do I care about the wall in the settlement in the first place? Like, why do I care about... ...anything in the settlement if it doesn't give anything to me? Like, you build walls in our main base just so that you could raid. You build walls there so that you can raid. But why do you build things in the settlement? So we'll have to wait and see. But if I had to guess... From the things that we've seen, right? Following the... The track record of last day on Earth, probably... The settlement isn't going to be much useful. I think the settlement will unlock new resources so that we can craft maybe new workbenches and new things in the settlement. But those new workbenches and new things will only work in the settlement. Like, let's say... Again, I'm just, let's say, talking about level 2 bricks. Let's assume they're going to add level 2 bricks, and with those level 2 bricks, you'll be able to craft... I don't even know, like, some sort of a weird workbench that... that lets you get more level 2 bricks or whatever. You know, guys, what I'm trying to say here. But hopefully I'm wrong and hopefully the settlement will, uh, and the settlement will be useful. Are we in the Scooby-Doo van? Yes, we got the Scooby-Doo van. We've assembled it. Uh, Alright, let's drop that stuff here. But as I said many times, hopefully I'm wrong and hopefully... The settlement will be useful. But it's just with the most recent updates, right? We've got in the laboratory. The laboratory does what? Nothing. The... the boat. You get the boat, you get sand, you get... ...other things. You get seaweed, right? For the laboratory. Which is kind of cool, you know? You get the boat, you get the seaweed... ...to do nothing with it. To unlock the... to... to do the laboratory, right? Because with that seaweed, you can... ...power up that generator. But the laboratory is kind of pointless, so it does nothing. Same thing with titanium. Like, titanium was added in the game for a while now, but... What can we do with that titanium? Nothing, really. Like, a lot of things just do nothing. So I wouldn't be surprised if... Settlement is gonna be something like that. Because it has been a while since we've gotten something... Useful. But as I said, hopefully I'm wrong. Um, let's get a C4. I don't see highway, but why? You have to go for the... 
in the gas station and only there you'll be able to go to the highway. Um, let's get some stones and some wood. Let's get it, get it, get it, get it. Resources. Limestone and wood. There is no point at all in any game. The only point is just for the developers to keep players playing the game. I see what you mean, but I mean... We're not talking about that kind of deep philosophical point. Like, life, have, life has no meaning. Nothing has any point. With a laboratory, like, white has no point. Laboratory doesn't really give you anything. You spend a bunch of guns and you don't get anything back in return for it. Thing. There we go. And same thing with titanium. Would be kind of cool, you know, if we had like maybe some titanium armor. We could maybe reinforce this SWAT armor with titanium. Then maybe, you know what, that titanium would be useful. But Sarek, why do we suffer? I have no idea. I can't answer those questions. Why is it limestone? Why not stone like common wood? I don't know. In any case, we got K9 and 4. That's the that's the base that we are raiding. All right. Let's go to Elder E raid player. Okay, it's not even player. Oops. Just K9 and 4. Ooh, this might be, ladies and gentlemen, something epic, something epic, I'm telling you. This is gonna be a great base! So buckle up, buckaroos! We're about to go ham. Then we gotta drop C4 there. Alright, C4 there, there. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm almost ready. That's what we do. Alright, I think we can do it. I don't know which other chest to open up, though. Alright, that's it. We did it. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. Do I have a C4? We'll need more C4s. Let's get back to the base. Let's get some more C4s and let's uh, do this awesome raid. Lots of and lots of barity, probably. I don't believe him, says Lila Byrus. This time, I'm telling the truth. From the research that I've done, it looks like it's a nice base. It should be at least a nice base. But I don't know how it's like in real. I don't know if it's nice or not. Um, Get this. Get the fish buff. I don't have the fish buff things because I don't have the fish for it. For making less noise, I think you need carp, and I don't have carp to do that fish buff. I mean, I can double check it, but I'm pretty certain it requires carp. No, no, the rare fish. Where is the one that where you make less noise? You make less noise. There we go. You need perch and carp, and I don't have carp. But that would be a good idea to do it in this base. But I just don't have the carp. Whatever, let's get the C4s and let's go for it. I don't think I got more C4s inside of this chest, nope. Let's eat a few more carrots just so that we go there with the full stomach.
let's go for the first nice raid in about a few weeks, probably. I don't even know when was the last time when we've gotten a nice raid. But let's go. Nice raid. Good raid. Um, I'll just do another quick, 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 quick research. Where do I place the C4? I kind of remember it. All right, we go there and then there. Okay, cool. All right, there was the turret. I think we can place it here-ish. I'm just double checking it again because this raid requires lots of C4s. So I don't want to mess it up. Well, basically wherever. There we go, let's place one C4 here. Oof. Then we can place another C4 on... Doesn't really matter which wall. Let's place it here. I think it should be alright. And then we can place one more C4 there. Like, as you can see, this base requires lots and lots of C4s. Lots of C4s. Alright, so while we are dealing with these guys... Let's go to weapons and let's get another C4. And I think I can drop it here again. Let's just double, triple check it. Yes, there's nothing to double, triple check. Let's just drop it. Oof. There we go, ladies and gents. It doesn't really look like this base has lots of and lots of chests, but... It's gonna be a good base. So, you guys, check this out. Get ready. <gasps> And this is the load that we're gonna get. Look at all of these locks. Look at all of that stuff. So let's bring all those things back to the base. I'm just curious if we have spikes in this raid. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. Because then I can die on the spike traps and bring even more loot back to the base. Nothing. Nothing. Where is the spike trap? Well, maybe I'll just open up more chests and I'll die from the zombies. Probably that's what we'll do because it doesn't really look like this base has any spike traps. Yeah, probably it doesn't. So yeah, I'll just wait for another wave of zombies and then we'll die. On the top there are spikes. Excuse me? Are you being real? You're just bamboozling me here. How on earth would you know that? Oh, there are actually spikes. Okay, cool. You actually know that. Thanks for not bamboozling me. Really cool. All right, now let's die on these spike traps. We're gonna uh, empty our chopper and then we'll come back here and we'll fill up the chopper again. There we go. Can you build, bring spike traps and build them on the other base? No, you cannot do that. You cannot do that. All right, so let's take these weapons. Let's drop them in the chest. Thank you for trusting me, says BJ. You're welcome. I had to trust you. I had no other option. Sometimes I trust you guys. Sometimes. And that's it. I don't think I need anything else. Let's up on the chopper. And let's get that all. Somebody said on the top there's a spike trap. Yeah, you're probably a bit late, but he thanks for letting me know that anyways. Thanks. Best way to clear Bond Corral Alpha with wall trick and melee weapons. And link is in the description where you, ch where you can check out my free-to-play playlist. Where I explain on how to play the game and I share all the tips and tricks that I know about this game. Alright, let's get back to our body. Let's get the loot. And let's finish looting that base because that's not it. It's supposed to have even more loot, believe it or not. 
Oh no, oh no, the armor is broken. Should have brought new armor. Has somebody explained about armor? Mentioned the armor? No. Nobody mentioned armor. Thanks, guys! For not doing what you're supposed to. Thanks for not doing your job. How will I survive the big one now? Hmm? Unbelievable. Let's drop the Glocks. There we go. I mean, we have armor in the inbox before somebody says it's like it's in your inbox. Yes, we have it there. But I kind of don't want to take armor from the inbox during a raid. Feels inefficient. All right, some uh, batteries. Get armor from one of the chests. I doubt that there is armor in one of those chests. We've gotten another armor, ladies and gentlemen. That's epic. They didn't even have to go back. They didn't even have to go to the inbox. And we just got it. Epic. Very, very epic. Another broken armor. So I think I can just soften up these chests and then we will leave this base. Alright? Definitely alright. But what we're gonna do is we'll get rid of these hatchets. I think this way will make maybe a bit less noise. Let's do two hits, which just doesn't doesn't matter. It's just easier to use these hatchets, and that's it. Two hits there. Two hits there. 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 Are we gonna get greedy? I don't know. Should we get a reanimator? We definitely should. Am I gonna get it though? I don't think so. Maybe let's get the reanimator for this right, right? It's it it it's probably gonna be worth it. Like, where else are we gonna use it? We have 16 reanimators, we might as well just use them, right? Let's go. More first aid kits. Lovely, 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 lovely. Uh, another Glock. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's heal up. We got nothing. I'm gonna deal with this Toxica Bomb real quick. And I'll go around. I'll do the leg shot. And I'll open this thing up. Real quick, bunch of alcohol, which is kind of all right, but we don't really need it. I'm gonna get my s leg shot. I don't have my sprinting skill, sadly. If I only had the sprinting skill, it would be way better. We got some more iron. I'll get it. And can I open this chest up in the corner? And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We've opened up all these chests. We didn't even have to use this reanimator. So this base gets Sykes approval really Really awesome raid. Really great raid. Again, if I had to rate it, it'd probably be a 7 out of 10. And Adam was said 7 out of 10, so there we go. I do agree with you. Maybe actually even more than 7 out of 10. Like, we did get a decent amount of first 8 kits. Some guns. But yeah, 7 out of 10 seems about right. 7... 7.5, maybe 8 out of 10. It's about that. It's pretty decent raid. It's a pretty decent raid. That's what I'm trying to say here. A decent amount of first. A really great raid. Like, if all raids were like this, the game would be broken. That's all I have to say. If all raids were like that, all of them would be broken. You missed one blue chest, yikes. Sorry about that. Didn't mean that. Um... But yeah, it's a, it's a really great raid. That's all I have to say. Great raid. Definitely get Sykes approval. Definitely at 8, says Sanjay, maybe. The point is, is that... It might be an 8. I don't know. Again, it's just a number at the end of the day. Actually, I'll give this raid a 3.
Maybe an 8. I mean, I was already able to bring a bunch of Glocks to the base. Maybe an easy 8. Perhaps. Maybe a 6, somebody says. Nah, nah, definitely. 6 is too low. Like, I wanted to give it a 7. But I kind of forgot that we also dropped already a few Glocks here. It's like, I don't know. An extremely strong 7. 8. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Great raid. That's all I have to say. If all raids were like this, the game would be broken. That's all I have to say. Because you'd get rich after a few raids. Alright, so let's try to go and pay the raiders. Let's give them an electronic circuit. And I probably go and do the hunt event. The big hunt event, whatever it's called. Let's share that. Let's call them on the radio again. And yeah, to those that have just joined, the developers have shared some more sneak peeks. Uh, there we go. That's what they've shared with us. So it's some sort of a new workbench. Apparently it's coming to our main base. I had thought that they're adding new workbenches to the settlement, but apparently not. But what that workbench will do, I have no idea. Looks like there's sand and the sand does something and maybe from the sand we make bricks. Maybe you make sand from those bricks. I don't know. I don't have a slightest clue. Maybe you can make cement. I have no idea. I don't have a slightest clue. Wait, I'll go maybe quickly on Google. Cement maker. No, I'm just see cement mixers. Well, I don't know. I couldn't see anything. Couldn't find anything. Doesn't matter. Let's just close that and let's get... Wait, let's actually check the tasks. 20 waves, revenger, and other things. Very lovely. But hey, we're gonna go and do this other event. Excuse me, Psych. It's called the big scam event. Okay, let's do the big scam event. I haven't done it yet. It's gonna last four days! Why? Can somebody explain that to me? Why on earth this event lasts four days? But the extraction event lasts only three days. Hmm? Why? And also, once you buy the premium here, another premium, you're like, oh, sorry, I bought already premium season pass. No, 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 you can buy another premium pass. And with that other premium pass, you can get these things, but haven't we gotten those things during other hunt events? So this thing just gets bigger and bigger. The pool of loot gets bigger and bigger. I don't know. In any case, let's deal with some zombies. Complete the test to claim a reward. Okay, cool. So we need to bloody chasers and other things. Let's just get some weapons. And let's do it. And let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. A few Glocks, probably. There we go. We've gotten Glocks from this raid, so I might as well just take them. Let's upgrade them and let's uh, do this event. Prices are too much for due to rewards. Again, probably-ish. I mean, it's the prices are high. I'm not there to say that, oh, you should be buying Premium Pass. But all I'm just saying is that they are doing here some sneaky moves, is that... Look at this. All of those iron plates, the Glocks, the weapons, the steel bars... And other things are probably from previous big hunt events. So it's like, if you don't buy this premium pass right now, you can just do this big hunt event like 10 times and then this loot pool is going to be larger and then you can just get more loot. If this, if that's how it works, I don't know, but still I wouldn't suggest buying that thing kind of, eh? Kind of seems very greedy for what it gives here. Did you see what developers posted on Discord? Literally three seconds ago, I've just shown that thing. The new workbench. K 
Can we talk about how Raft is $9.99 per week to play? What the heck? What do you mean Raft $9.99? How can Raft be $9.99 per week? You buy it on Steam and it's yours forever. What do you mean $9.99 per week to play? I don't get it. Or you made a typo. You didn't mean raft. Oh, raft on my iPhone. Well, that probably explains a lot. There is no way raft is on the iPhone. They don't have mobile version of the game. That's another... That's from other developers, probably. Must be a goopy knockoff, says Lila Barris. Yes, indeed. Probably Psych Corp bought Raft, says Ramen. Yes, indeed, that's what we would do. If Psych Corporation buys Raft, it'll be $9.99 per week to play. Uh, limestone Spires. Whatever, let's just start from the Limestone Spires. I still don't know where are the Limestone Spires after five years of playing the game. Let's go there. Uh, let's just do it. But it's kind of weird. Like, you can buy a game. Like, I'm not even kidding how weird it is. Like, you can buy a full game on Steam sometimes for $10, right? But yet, for 10 bucks now, even for 12 bucks here, right? You can just buy this season pass that'll last for four days and you'll get garbage loot. And that's it. Then this season will be over in four days. Like, this big hunt event will be over in four days. But you can buy a full game on Steam for that price and it'll last you forever. Well, as long as Steam exists. Crazy. Crazy indeed. All right, so what we need to find is just a monstrous giant. So let's find that monstrous giant. Tree stone is the dev for raft. No, the dev for raft. Raft developers. They're called different. They're called Red Beat Interactive. That's what they are. Red Beat Interactive. That's the raft developer on the PC version, not on the mobile version. Let's say we got him. So let's go outside. Let's do some other tasks. But if you do that hunt event for, let's say, years, you can buy all the premium stuff you had missed for $5.99 at once, says Jay. If that's how it works. If that's how it works, because I don't know if... Now it says we have 18 items there. Right, but can it grow to infinite amount of items, like to 200 items? Can you have 200 items stored here in the stored rewards? Is that how it works? I don't know. But yeah, maybe we can do the big hunt event for like a year and then you can buy everything for six bucks. Uh, the bloody chaser, let's deal with the bloody chasers. We got one. Um, where are bloody chasers? I can't find them. I can't find those bloody chasers. No, you bloody. There we go. There's one bloody chaser. Another one, and there's got to be two more of them. When the big hunt ends, do we keep the keys or we have to start over? I don't know. I don't know a lot about this big hunt event. Or 
Alright, let's leave this place and let's go to the side. Can you speak French? No, I don't speak French. Alright, we gotta go to the Pine Grove. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to the Pine Grove. Did I miss the swamp run? No, I didn't go to the swamp. I did not go to the swamp. I don't know if we'll go to the swamp run today. Maybe. Developers are trying their best to give us good events. And here we are roasting them in this channel. Haha, <laughs> says Sanjay. <laughs> like, what do you mean developers are trying their best to give us good events? How is this good event? There are some good events. I like the arena event. And guess what? The arena event is coming. It's coming on 27th of September. It's there. I like the extraction event. I think it's cool. Except it's too short. I wish it lasted longer. Every time I do the extraction event, there's always somebody saying, Oh my god, psych noob! You don't need to waste weapons in extraction event! Yeah, you don't have to waste lots of weapons in extraction event if... You have lots of zombie crystal points. But by the time you get like thousands of those zombie crystal points, the event is gonna end or you're gonna spend lots of weapons. Which is the same thing. But if that event lasted like two weeks... Like, just a longer event. I think it should last for a bit longer than just a few days. It would be way better. Feedback is a gift. Devs are grateful, I'm sure, says Lila Virus. I don't think developers care about what I have to say. And to be honest, I don't think they should care about what I have to say. I'm just a gooper playing a game here. I don't think I am qualified to say... What should be added to the game, what shouldn't be added to the game. I can just complain about it. But just all I have to say is that... Sometimes I'll be saying an opinion... And sometimes you guys... Will disagree with me. And then I'm just thinking that, hey, everybody's different, everybody has different opinions. And if developers start listening to everybody, then... I don't know what's gonna happen with this game. Obviously, I wish some things were different, like, that's a fact. But yeah, I don't think developers should take everything seriously that I say. Because what would I know? Uh, Alright guys, let's get the loot. Let's claim it. And let's refresh it and there we go, we can do it once again then. And limestone cliffs, limestone spires and limestone ridge. Okay, so we just gotta go to the stone locations. But yeah, obviously I want more content in the game. Like, I don't think it would be... Unreasonable to say that, hey, we would all want more content in the game. But again, there's that one guy. Oh my god, Tyke, I already have so many things to do in the game. I don't want more content. So you see, you can't really please everybody, right? I don't know, but I would want more content in the game. That's all I have to say. I want more content. But in all seriousness, the first thing that I the first things that I'd change is probably the the multiplayer PvP thing. I'd make it way better. There are so many things. Uh, there are so many ways on how we can make that PvP plays better. But again, it's kind of lag. If it wasn't lag, it would be better. When you win that PvP or something, you don't have to maybe waste all of your gear. If you lose, you don't lose everything. Because right now, PvP is like, you need to get an extremely rare gear. And if you die, you lose all of that gear. Kind of lame. Uh, limestone cliffs. Don't improve multiplayer, just delete it says infinity. That's stupid. I would like to improve PvP because then there would be more content for me. Like, I'd like to see things improved so that I can make more content. <laughs> more things where I can live stream. That would be epic. That's what I want. 
But if we could, let's say, do like that... Uh, PvP, way cheaper, way... Uh, with way less resources. But it could still be fun, we could still win something and maybe... We could get loot for our single player. Or something. That multiplayer has to be connected to our single player. We need to get some sort of special loot, like some sort of rare things. Some sort of a purple crystal, right? Let's say everything you do in multiplayer can be exchanged for purple crystals, and then you can change those purple crystals for loot in this single player. Maybe that would work. But again, I don't think that's the developer's vision to connect multiplayer with the single player. But it's the same game, it should be connected. But again, I might be wrong, I don't know. Uh, limestone Spires, let's go to the Limestone Spires. Let's go. And then we'll open up some... some loot. I did the police department event yesterday, but I ran out of time and only completed one out of three goals, says the Labaris. Wait, you've just killed 35 zombies? Well, that's something. That is something. Wait, I just wanted to check this thing out. We had 18 rewards, now we have 19 rewards. We've gotten a cog there, okay. Another cog wheel. Hello, where's the Icy Chewer? Who comes out with these names? Icy Chewer. Icy Chewer. Sounds like a... like a stage name, like a rap name or something. Icy Chewer. Yo, everybody, it's me, Icy the Chewer. The inconsistency that people are talking about with energy usage for traveling across the global map comes from the VIP buff, which reduces energy usage depending on VIP LVL reached. It stays active even if your VIP status otherwise is not. Uh, Peter Hopfner, thanks for the donation. Wait, I didn't know that. So if you have the VIP... And, I mean, currently we do probably have the VIP here, yes, it still lasts for four days, but after VIP runs out, you think the energy still stays there, you still travel for cheaper? I don't know if that's how it works. Also, you get less energy from passive skills, there's the... Wait, maybe not the walker, but there's the biker, you spend 20% less fuel when driving. There's that, but it's not about energy. Um... Mm, where is the thing? I don't see it. Oh, there we go. The cost to travel. Energy cost for traveling in the wasteland minus 10%. Okay. I guess, but I don't know if it stays, if that buff stays even after the VIP status runs out. I don't know, I haven't checked it out. Alright, let's deal with this dude. The icy chewer. Yeah, it says- it says what? It says that all the buffs disappear after VIP disappears. All the buffs disappear as soon as the VIP disappears. I don't think any of those buffs appear. Earned experience plus 10%. I don't think the plus 10 experience stays after the VIP status, status runs out. Once the timer is over, your VIP progress is saved, but the bonuses become unavailable. 
There we go. There's that. In any case, let's skedaddle. Say, Peter Hopner, thanks for everything. Sounds gangsta, yes indeed, the icy chewer. Yo, yo, what's up? Icy chewer here. Uh, wait, we are done with the with the event, correct? So we can go get the loot. It's time to get the loot, 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 This, this. Let's get the things, bam, bam, bam. So we claimed more items. Now we have 21 items in the premium that we could get. All right. Understandable. Have a nice day. We have 140 of those keys. So obviously, once we open up these crates, those keys don't get transferred in the next big hunt event. They say that's it. Yeah, those were pretty easy events. Like, pretty easy event, but not great loot either. I mean, three bandages, which is kind of alright. A katana, which is just made. That's it! I can only open up two of those crates! Only two of those crates? That's just ridiculous. I can't even open up this better crate. Sick! That is the big hunt event. Yikes. Just absolutely yikes. So why do I think about the big hunt event? It's kind of very pay-to-win-ish. It's again, not really pay-to-win-ish, but pay-to-win, pay-to-get loot. So maybe it is pay-to-win, like, you do big hunt event. I got all garbage loot there. It wasn't that great. If I had the full pass here, like, I mean, you could get the skull crushers, the glocks, the whatever else. And plus all those other bonus rewards, but still. Oh no, actually you do get stored keys. Guys, these stored keys, check this out. Somebody said that those keys don't transfer, like, they don't tra- Maybe somebody said it correctly anyway, so it doesn't matter, that's what they maybe meant. But, those keys don't transfer for you as a free-to-play player. So for example, guys, right now I got here two of those rare keys, whatever they're called, I don't even know. But yeah, we got those two rare keys. And those two rare keys and 40 simple keys are gonna transfer to this premium pass. So they will want you to spend those six bucks or whatever on this pass. So now we have 22 keys and next time we're gonna have 24 of those keys and we'll have 405 normal keys, scavenger keys and collector's keys. So that's what's up. So you mean if you're gonna do this big hunt event for a year and if they don't reset the loot then maybe it will be worth it to purchase it for six bucks to get all of this loot? But again, that's pay to win loot. So there's that. And we don't really discuss the pay to win loot. Except that thing for five bucks, the legendary pack where you get steel room, where you get thousands of coins and other garbage for three bucks or for five bucks, which is kind of great. Buy premium once a year. Yes, you can buy that premium probably once a year. But again, as I said, we don't really discuss the premium stuff here. So guys, let's go. Let's do some Rubik's Cube. Rubik's uh, speed cube timer. Speed cube timer. Uh, let's do it. So we are about to wrap up the live stream, but just as always, at the end of the live stream, we do some speed cubing, and then we skedaddle. Um... There's the speed cube. There we go, ladies and gents. Are you ready? Are you ready? Well, just as always, I gotta probably warm up. That'll be better if I just warm up. I think I'll get a, b a bit better time. I definitely think I'll get a bit better time. Thirty-five seconds. Let's go. So yeah, guys. Uh, my personal best was thirty-five seconds. I got really lucky once, and I got thirty point sixty-five seconds. But again, that was just luck. Say, so I'm still kind of warming up.
Um... Well, that's enough. That's enough. I guess enough of warming up. That's it, guys. Let's go. It's not like I'll get way better result from warming up. Still, the best way to warm up is just to do the cube and that's it. So let's go for it. Damn, up, back. So yeah, to those that are new to the channel, usually at the end of the live stream, we just speed cube for a few minutes before we wrap up the live stream. So that's it. So there we go. We've just done some spins. Let's just do some random spins and let's start it. There we go. Now let's do a little bit of inspection. Alright, I think I can do it. I think I can do this. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Bam, 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 bam. Alright, 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 ladies and gentlemen. So far, it's going great. Ladies and gentlemen, you see, the I got a little bit lucky there. Could have been probably 45, maybe 44 seconds there. So I got to skip one of the algorithms there. But in any case, it was a pretty decent solve. Sub 40, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't gotten lots of sub... Oh, timer! You didn't see the timer! No! Guys! You didn't see the timer. You saw the timer. No timer, so no record. It's not a record, guys. How can you... There was a timer, guys. I promise. No timer doesn't count. Alright, let's do one more then. Let's do one more. Damn it! I want to say why nobody said that, but you guys told me. I just probably didn't check the chat there. So, I apologize. My bad. Totally my bad. Alright, let's do some more spins. I mean, you could time it. What do you mean there's no timer? You can literally see how much time it took us to do it. It's still counted. This one's still counted. I'll do one more, but it's still counted. All right. Now, let's do some inspection. Oh, all right. This one's kind of good. This might be a really good time. There we go. I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Boom, boom, boom. Or maybe it won't be good time. Or maybe it will be. Doubt it. Still, I'm gonna clap for this one. Could have been a bit faster. Some things got stuck. Their fingers got kind of stuck. But you know what? 43 seconds is still decent enough for this solve. There was basically zero, not a lot of lucky things. So it was nice result, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Let's clap once again for it. And that is it, ladies and gents. I think I'll be wrapping it up. So thanks, everybody, for joining. See you next time. As they say, same bad time, same bad channel. Uh, so, yeah, guys, tomorrow, either... Either the infected episode one is gonna come out, or... Or, or, or... Miss Survival, one of those two. I don't know which one, either Miss Survival or the infected, and then we're gonna start Conan, and then there will be another Conan Exiles, but probably... Probably there will be the missed survival.
Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Scum? No scum yet. I'm waiting for the bigger update in Scum Survival. So yeah, take care, everybody. Thanks for joining. Maybe after tomorrow, because now when, once we are done with the with everything in last day on Earth, I think we're gonna start some Ark Survival. Ark Fyodor says, "BJ, yes, we might play an Ark Fyodor." Somebody left a comment saying that Ace, I continue your Ark Survival old Ragnarok series, and I was like, huh. literally, that's what I was like. I was just like, huh. I don't want to continue anything because it feels like. I wanted to give some new content. People wanted the old Ragnarok series that are like over one year old, which is like crazy. But whatever, guys. There will be Ark Fyodor. If there will be Ark Survival, there will be Ark Fyodor. That's what I have to say. We'll play on the new map. So yeah, take care, everybody. Thanks for joining. See you next time tomorrow with probably Miss Survival or one of those other two videos. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. And after tomorrow might be Ark Fyodor. So take care, guys. See you later. Alligator and peace out. Have an amazing day and evening. And whatever. Say, so, take care, guys. And peace out, peace out. Take care, everybody. Have fun and take care, guys.